good everyone it's the M A D H A double T E R coming at you live and direct as always uh, I kinda wanna do a different type of video today I'm not gonna show off any of my you know any more jerseys or whatever I still don't have any new ones but I kinda wanted to do uh, a sports blog so to speak um, I guess you can say I was inspired by someone that I just subscribed yesterday and this lady this this lady um, I've talked to on Twitter a lot and she used to work at Comcast Sportsnet New England and um, her name is Jackie Pepper she has her own website in which, in which she's like you know giving her opinions on certain um, sports topics and all. So I want to give her a shout out right now. You know, shout out to Jackie Pepper. Um, and it got it got me thinking a little bit about. I became a sports fan now as many of you guys may know you know I'm a I'm a big time Boston sports fan and you know as time went on you know like I said I've come to embrace you know and appreciate what it means to be a Boston sports fan so you know, the first year I started following basketball, you know, the Celtics, you know, Antoine Walker was already traded the first time to the Mavericks. And, you know, it was just Paul Pierce, uh, they got Ricky Davis, Gary Welsh, Rayful Friends, just a bunch of scrubs alongside Pierce. So, you know, I, I became a fan because I, you know, he he played at the best that he can, but at the same time, the team sucked. And at this time, you know, the Patriots were doing well. They had won two championships at the time, and I was already a year removed from um, from the Red Sox losing in the ALCS to the Yankees in '03. So. As time went on, the Patriots became a dynasty. Um, the Red Sox broke an 86 year old curse. They won, you know, they came back from 03 beating the Yankees. They came back, you know, they swept St. Louis. They beat the Cardinals. They won a championship. You know, and then the Red Sox would do it again in 07. And then, you know, the Patriots almost went undefeated, lost in the Super Bowl. And then it brings up to my favorite Boston sports moment, which was when the Celtics beat the Lakers. And I've always dreamed of watching that in the finals because I used to just see it, you know, Hardwood classics, you know, shit like that. So I never really got to. It was always highlights, Bird versus Magic, um, the days of Bill Russell. You know, I never got to see the Celtics and Lakers in the finals, which I was able to do. And you know, I got to witness victory in '08. And I got to vic uh, witness heartbreak in 2010. And then with hockey, I'll admit, I was always on the Bruins case because they were always horrible. They were always... they Hockey just wasn't my thing at the time. But... And I know people at my job that are big time 
hockey fans, big time Bruins fans. So I always ragged on them because, you know, Joe Joe Thornton got traded, and I thought it wasn't his fault that the team sucked, you know. And then, you know, year after year, you know, I'd see games here and there. And, you know, they'd be in the playoffs and they didn't do anything. You know, a couple years back, they had, they were up 3 nothing on the Flyers. And then they pissed that series away. So, that last year, I was able to see a lot of the games that the Bruins played. And there were times in which it's like, you know what? They're gonna choke the they're gonna choke the series again. They're gonna choke this their opportunity again. They made it all the way to Stanley Cup Finals. I was at a bar right near my house and I, w- I was at Snookers. I was at Snookers watching the game. Game seven. I got to see the Bruins win. And it was just a great atmosphere that night. So, how many cities can say they have four pro teams that have won championships in the same decade? Not not many not many cities can say that. So, you know, for me to see that. For me to say that I've seen uh, the Celtics, Red Sox, Patriots, and Bruins win a championship, you know, it's really good to say that because this city, because this region has a lot of history. It's all about team. It's all about effort. And people say that's not about the name in the back. But the name on the front. While I agree with that, let's be honest. Representing the name on the front is one thing, but to have your name on the back represent the name on the front is an honor. To me, it's an honor. So it's you can look at it both ways, like that. Now, as a Boston sports fan, I respect certain teams, and I really hate certain teams. I respect the Lakers. I respect the ne- uh, the Knicks. I somewhat respect the Giants. I don't have a... And A lot of the teams that I don't have a lot of respect for is because of people talking too much or their actions. The Jets, the Heat, the Yankees. Those are three teams that I have little to no respect for. I have players, I respect some of of their players, not all. I can respect Darrell Rivas. I can respect Derek Jeter. I can respect Dwayne Wade. I have no respect for Rex Ryan. I have no respect for LeBron James. I have no respect for, you know, Santonio Holmes. I have no respect for Alex Rodriguez. You know? That's just that's and I'm sure I'm sure there are fans all over the world that can't stand KG. But he brings that intensity every night. I know a lot of people that don't like Paul Pierce. But as many of you guys may know, Paul Pierce is my favorite player in the league. Not just on the Celtics in the league. You know? A lot of people don't like Tom Brady. A lot of people think Peyton Manning is better than him. Really? I mean, and I I don't mind Peyton Manning. He's a great quarterback, but you mean to tell me. And 
he's a he's the first ever four time MVP. Great for him. But I think he would have been better suited staying in Indy, teaching Andrew Luck how to play, how to be an effective quarterback. Because you look at Andrew Luck and you think, damn, you know, he's gonna he's thrown he's being thrown into the wolves, basically. You know, there's people that don't like there's people that didn't like Larry Bird. Sometimes you need a leader like that. You need a leader that can that gives it a hundred percent on the offensive and defensive end every single night. And you look at though that says a lot about character in sports. Giving it your all. You know, busting your ass off for every single fucking play out there. You know? I mean, shit. People people half-ass things nowadays. People think it's easy. People kiss your ass because they think you're great. But, you know, people work for it. People work to get to where they are. Michael Jordan did that. Bill Russell did that. Kobe did that. Paul Pierce did did that. Dirk Nowitzki did that. A lot of great players work hard. Hard work pays off. That's where the saying comes from. So, it's videos like this that I'm doing, where I'm giving, I'm giving opinions on different things. Now I'm sure in the next couple days the trade deadline you know where Peyton Manning's gonna go these are just some of the many topics that I'll probably talk about I won't talk about March Madness cause I can't stand college sports as I've said before I can't stand golf or tennis So, I don't know. It's just going to be random random vids. I, I really don't know. But, you know, as always, shout out to my subscribers. Shout out to everyone on YouTube and the Jersey community and the media community. Just keep doing your thing. Let me know about this video. I'll post another thing and I'll post another vid in like a couple days. You know, as we get close to the trade deadline and if Peyton Manning makes a decision on which team he's going to play. Until next time, peace out.